What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Sabrina or Marie J here on YouTube and today I'm doing kind of like a product comparison and I've seen these dupes go around YouTube and go around Pinterest and go around Instagram, pretty much social media, all over social media. I've seen that these two have been compared and a few people have said that they're dupes. So I was very interested in trying them because I have both concealers and Tarte Shape Tape, as you guys know or have probably seen, is all over the place. It's a really full coverage, heavy duty concealer that a lot of uh, people have been loving lately. And they say that the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer is a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. And it's a fraction of the price. And when I say a fraction, I mean it's very very affordable so I'm gonna be putting both of these concealers to the test one on one side one on the other to see if you know I think that they really are dupes I'm wearing both of them on my face right now I don't know if you guys can tell which is which if you can't then there you go but we're gonna go ahead and like I said put these to the test we're gonna do a demo and application of the two and then at the end I'll be checking in after I'm wearing the concealers for a few hours so we can see if they both held up the same and to see if they really if they really are dupes here you can see just how lovely my under eyes look so I do have a little bit of redness going on of course I do already have my foundation on which is why it might look a little bit off. I'm currently on the Tarte Cosmetics website to see the description of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer but it just says that it's a vegan friendly creamy concealer for radiant coverage and contouring. I'm looking for something a little bit more detailed and a little more juicy so I'm gonna go on Ulta's website to see if they might have like a a longer description of what the shape tape is supposed to do okay they do so for this concealer it says sculpt and highlight as you mask imperfections with this two-in-one full coverage concealer the hydrating long wearing formula delivers natural radiant coverage across all skin types so you can instantly brighten and cover acne dark circles and redness while softening the look of pores and fine lines wear it in one to two shades lighter or darker and it works as a creamy highlighter or contouring stick with a lightweight blendable formula and tapered wand applicator, ideal for precise strobing and sculpting. Powered by Amazonian clay and conditioning mango seed and shea butters, the nutrient-rich concealer helps promote skin, elasticity, and illumination with each crease Free application cruelty free gluten free and vegan as for the wet and wild photo focus concealer it says let your natural beauty shine with our selfie tested creamy and luminous concealer tested to be white cast free under seven different photo lighting conditions this high coverage concealer allows only your best features to get noticed gorgeous skin will be your only look and then it has a few bullet points. It says instantly brightens and perfects appearance of skin, conceals imperfections, dark spots, and blemishes, gentle enough to use on the delicate under eye area, formulated with light diffusing pigment, delivers lightweight buildable coverage, conceals and minimizes imperfections to achieve a flawless look. Goodbye photo flashback. So for both of the concealers, they basically claim that they're luminous, high coverage, highly pigmented concealers that aren't going to make you crease or look cakey. And they're supposed to make your your under eyes and your face basically look flawless. They also both claim to give you buildable coverage. So you're supposed to be able to build it up if you want a lighter coverage you can use it for light coverage or if you want a fuller coverage you can use it for a more full coverage and they also both claim to cover up blemishes and scarring and imperfections so i mean the claims look very very similar and they sound like they're supposed to do similar things the only main difference that i'm able to like kind of notice within the description is that this one claims that it was tested under like seven lighting conditions and this one doesn't. So now we're gonna finally put these to the test. I'm gonna do the Tarte Shape Tape on this side and I'm going to do the Wet n Wild Photo Focus on this side and I'm going to be applying them with the same tool. It's gonna be my Beauty Blender and I'm also going to set my concealer with the same translucent powder which I think I'm gonna use my Cody Airspun 
translucent powder. All right, first I'm applying the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer, and I have this concealer in the shade Medium Peach. Hopefully these are at least around the same shade. Uh, one main difference with these two, which I'll show you guys in a bit, like a side-by-side -side comparison, is the size, of course, and the applicator. The applicator on the Wet n Wild is a lot smaller than the Tarte Shape Tape. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and blend that out with the Beauty Blender sponge. And with the Wet n Wild one, it's like, it doesn't seem as thick to me as the Tarte Shape Tape. Uh, but it still does give a nice coverage, as you guys can see. You can see the difference from the, the eyelid to underneath the eyes. It does have, you know, a nice coverage. See, you can see the difference right there as far as coverage goes. So this is the Wet n Wild side. Now I'm gonna do the Tarte Shape Tape before I go ahead and set this side. And this is in the shade Medium. And as you can see here, the applicator is a lot bigger, so you apply a lot more product when you initially swipe. But let's go ahead and blend it. And I'm not gonna rinse my sponge, I'm just gonna use this other side that doesn't have anything on it, because I'm too lazy. The shades are, this one's like a little bit lighter, but it still has to set, so that's probably why. The other two side by side. They both gave me coverage, and they both concealed everything that I had going on around my eyes. They do seem to have a very similar finish. They're not too, too matte and they're not too dewy either. They're right in the middle. I am gonna apply a little more on the Wet n Wild side though because I wanna make sure I'm applying at least a similar amount of product on both sides because like I said, the Tarte Shape Tape applies a lot more because of the fact that the wand is um, bigger. So let's go ahead and blend this. Like I said, I'm gonna use my Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder and I'm just gonna do Typical, just set the under eyes and the lids to make sure it doesn't crease. Under eyes and the lids. Okay, you guys, so this is how my under eyes and how my eyelids look after applying both concealers. And I don't have any other makeup on except my eyebrows. I just pop those on real quick but yeah this is how it looks and I must say on camera of course and in person they look very very similar I don't see much of a difference especially after setting them like the color looks the same the coverage looks the same they both aren't creasing on me at all can you guys see a difference between the two I personally can't like I really actually can't so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup off camera and I'm gonna come back to see how they're holding up while I'm doing my makeup and to see if any of the two are creasing more than the other and I mean just to tell you guys my overall thoughts after I finish doing the rest of my makeup okay I'm not sure if I'm feeling this lip color I've never worn a bright orange like this but um, this is how both of the concealers look once all of my makeup is done and I still feel like they look very very similar there's not any creasing happening they don't feel drying underneath the eyes which is funny because the first time that I tried the wet n wild concealer I did kind of feel like it was a little bit too matte and it was hard to blend maybe it was like the way that I primed my skin or maybe it was a foundation or something that I was wearing that day but I do think that they both give a full coverage, like flawless look without feeling heavy. I don't feel like it's too tight or too dry underneath my eyes either. Um, it doesn't really feel like I have a full coverage concealer on for both sides. Let me zoom you in a little closer so you can get a better idea of how it looks like closer. You can see my under eyes are increasing. You can see the darkness is completely gone all around my eyes. Um, the colors as well are pretty close. Of course, when you like swatch them on the back of your hand, which I'm about to show you right now, 
they might not look like they're the same color but once i blend and everything they are pretty similar you can tell the wet and wild one is a lot more on the peach side let me show you so the wet and wild one is the one on this side and this is the tarte shape tape concealer so there is a shade difference but once i go ahead and blend it out there's really not much of a difference and then quickly as far as packaging goes let me show you the two since we're already up close this is the packaging for both concealers and it looks like the wet and wild one has less this one has 0.29 fluid ounces and the tarte shape tape has 0.3381 fluid ounces and then of course the applicator is very different for the two the tart shape tape is a lot thicker and the wet and wild is like you know the standard dofa applicator right now it is 1203 p.m. so I'm going to wear both of these concealers for the rest of the day and I am going to be checking back in at the end of the day so you guys can see how both concealers held up throughout the day I know some of you guys do prefer me to check in so you can actually see how the product wore because initial application sometimes doesn't really mean much until you wear the foundation or the, the concealer or the product for a few hours gosh get it together okay I am now checking in and it's seven baby <laughs> Okay, so I'm now checking in and it's 7.30. I don't know if you guys can see the time. Um, there you go. It's 7.30 p.m. So I've been wearing the foundation for almost, not the foundation. I'm so used to doing foundation reviews, the concealers. I've been wearing the concealers now for almost eight hours. I believe the first time I told you guys it was like 12 or something like that. And I can tell you right now that the concealers are very, very similar. I still cannot tell the difference between the two. Now, as far as creasing and stuff, my under eyes always crease like uh, after a few hours, especially. So right now, I mean, I do have a little bit of creasing on both sides, but it's not anything major and it's not anything like some of the other concealers that I've used before. So both sides are still looking good. Honestly, as far as what both of the concealers claim and whether or not I feel like they do similar things, I personally think that they do. All in all, do I think that these concealers are dupes for one another? I think that they are pretty dang close. The only thing that I feel like is different is obviously the applicator and then as well as the like texture and thickness of the concealers. I feel like the Tarte Shape Tape is just a tad bit thicker and then the color i mean the color you know obviously you're not going to get the exact color in both concealers but as far as what it does and as far as how it wears and how it looks on the skin they're they're basically the same and now knowing that they're dupes would i go out and repurchase the tarte shape tape or would i just stick to the wet and wild yeah i like both I'm going to use both. I probably will repurchase both. One is just great as far as high-end makeup and the other one is great as far as drugstore. There you go. Those are my thoughts on the Tarte Shape Tape and the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer and whether or not I think that they are dupes. And if you've tried one or both of these concealers, let me know your thoughts on them. Do you think that they're dupes or do you think that they're not dupes? Why? what happened what's going on let me know down below in the comment section if you enjoyed this video and if you found it helpful give it a thumbs up that way i know that you enjoyed it and that's pretty much all i have for you guys thank you guys for watching i love you and i will see you all in my next video